here's the attack of Niels Pollitt. Immediate onto the wheel goes Connor Swift, two real tall classic style riders. A short and flat 12th stage to Nîmes, which has been a sprinter's playground in recent years. Caleb Ewan in 2019, Alexander Kristoff in 2014, Cavendish himself in 2008. But there was an X factor on the exposed roads of the Drome and the Ardèche. The wind set to play a major role in today's action. The official starts at 1.49. 1.49 stage 12 between Sapol, Trois Châteaux and Nîmes, 159.4 kilometers of racing. A very fast start indeed. The riders setting off at a furious pace, with echelons appearing almost immediately. There was one notable absentee. Peter Sagan didn't start today because of a knee injury. Look at this, there are one, two, three, four distinct groups and echelons already. The average speed on this stage so far, 64 kilometers an hour. There's a coureur, 13 riders now in the breakaway group, 13. A breakaway formed after 20k of flat-out racing with Julian Alaphilippe on the attack once again, none of them posing any threat to the yellow jersey of Tadej Pogacar. With most of the sprint teams represented, it seemed unlikely that anybody would be working too hard to bring the break back. They quickly had a gap of over seven minutes as they wound their way down the spectacular gorges of the Ardèche. And it soon became clear that Cavendish wouldn't be equaling any records today. The Manxman briefly stopping to adjust his cleats. Interestingly, he hadn't donned the green skin suit, perhaps suggesting that the Koenig Quickstep weren't looking to set up the sprint. Here's the attack of Niels Pollitt, who's decided to try and bring this race a little bit uh, more to life. And here goes Andre Greipel, he's not very happy here. He goes sprinting across. Greipel is a master at these sort of flat-out efforts. This is an interesting one. Put your bar in your mouth and go on the attack at the same time. <laughs> Stefan Kung. In the red and black is Harry Sweeney. Niels Pollitt in the dark green and a VT there in the blue. This could be a great day for Harry Sweeney. Debut Tour de France, now in another breakaway. He's been in some moves already. Oh, here we go, Harry Sweeney's attacked. Well, Stefan Kung is unable to go with the acceleration. I did just say, and you've been saying Harry Sweeney is the only unknown quantity in here, and Stefan Kung is ejected from the front group. Big attack by Niels Pollitt. All these riders need to react. Pollitt has been the strong man of today's stage, and he is now ripping it away over the top of this climb. The Bora Hansgrohe rider has attacked hard on the left-hand side. Another check on the radio, just to make sure, just to be certain there is no one behind him. It's searing heat here in Nîmes, and this rider has set a searing pace since we left the race start in saint paul trois Chateau today. Niels Pollitt has been the most dynamic rider of this stage. He was the rider who caused the crosswinds. He was the rider who caused the breakaway, and now he's gonna be the rider who's gonna celebrate. It's his debut win in the Tour de France. He's never taken a stage before. Niels Pollitt is finally gonna to get the huge win. He's a helper. Today he's a winner. Bora Hansgrohe takes stage 12. Nils Pollitt has the victory. What a day for Nils Pollitt. The big German taking just the second win of his career after some close shaves. He's previously come second at Paris Roubaix and on a couple of stages of Paris Nice. The 27 year old finally has a first major victory to put on his CV, and they don't come much bigger than the Tour de France. It's a dream to win a stage in the Tour de France and the sport director just tell me 
now it's the last wave until the finish, so give everything, try it, and uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then, yeah, to coming uh, solo to the finish line, it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, and now it's, it's uh, like the biggest win what you can have, like a winning uh, stage in the Tour. Celebrations for Bora Hansgrohe on a day that had started badly, with Sagan pulling out of the race. No changes elsewhere, Pogaccia is one day closer to Paris with that yellow jersey still firmly on his shoulders. Cavendish leads the green jersey standings by 59 points from Michael Matthews. Nada Quintana is our king of the mountains with a small gap over the Von 2 stage winner, Wout van Aert. And Pogac is the best young rider. He's been in white for the whole race. It wasn't Cavs' day today, but he should have other opportunities to hit 34 between now and the Champs-Élysées.